Well, we're here. Now, where's this stupid Poshly Sanctum? Aggressive Star is here, right? Mario became Sephiroth? Oh, yeah. So they say, pretty up your this, and lo and behold, there it is right now, right behind you. By the way, I think, th I think this one will be a bit of a shorter episode because I have to go make food and then play Danganronpa later, so... Sad, I can't play more of this game. Great, about time Bow something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. This place is so classy. I wouldn't mind spending my old heat here one bit. Yes, get a little rambler, a porch swing, perhaps, a pie digress. Your noxiousness, the sanctum lies before us. A crystal star will be ours. Die. Die. I say I'd like to mount a large animal horn in my foil to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? <laughs> what? That's disgusting. Get away from my- get away from me, you creep! You can't have my horns! Die! Die! I wanna go in the pipe! No! Let me go in the pipe! No! Damn it! I can't jump! Fuck these stupid legs! Ah! Mommy! Die! Oh, hello there, guy. Puzzly Ice is a nice sound of warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You are a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, guy. I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? Die. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Um... Koopa Koot. <laughs> I'm the great Koopa Koot, all-time ancient babbler. Ah, uh, yeah, right, mister. That name stinks. Hi, you're big, mister. What's your name? Businessman of Legend. <laughs> I'm Bowser, businessman of legend. Fear my accounting. Oh, businessman like business tripes, bribes, and brown noses? Oh my. Ah, tough life, huh? So, mister, are you in charge of the coffee maker or what? Evil King Extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm Bowser. Bowser, Evil King Extraordinaire. Ah! Is he just gone? Where the fuck did he go? Oh look, my heart troubles. The fountain. So elegant. This is art at its finest. So very absurd as usual, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest, one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to find art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously. Well, oh, I gotta go I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Five minutes later. Wow, that was a really good trip to the bathroom. Alright, let's go inside. It's the lock that won't budge. Fuck! Damn it! The lock broke. Whoa, baby! Awesome, it opened! Talk about lucky! I guess rage really pays! <laughs> this is fun. I always love this Peach, uh, Bow Peach slash Bowser interlude. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. Bowser got an item! <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Oh wait, you know what? Hold on. Give me a sec. Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star getting guy. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm the little, little thief. I'm the shadow thief. Bowser the shadow thief. Not a thief. The best thief. I'll be taking this, thanks. What? The shadow thief? I never knew this had the scent of beer burglary. Huh. You've been hornswoggled, shadow thief. 
For that is a red herring. A fake. Oh! A fake? But look at that fancy display! The pedestal and everything! It's so posh! If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ugh, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world can Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Uh, Lord Bowser! Ah, Paragoomba. What are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me. New pouring, sir. Uh, and madam. Uh, sir and ma'am. Uh, Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is heading for the thousand year door. What? The thousand year door? When the heck is that? The thousand year door. An unbelievably legendary door. Or a treasure is behind that door. A door is behind a door, Bowser. Oh! Then I'm going there too, immediately. Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Gammy, we're leaving now. Ah, oh, well done, Luigi. We did not fail, yet. Wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. So there's that Finny Bowser interlude. We finally got all seven crystal stars, corking. Now we can open the thousand year door. Ah, uh, yes, but we still don't know where Princess Peach is. Mm. Ooh. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, eh, old boy? Perhaps Professor Franklin can help us find our dear Princess Peach. Mm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We got the jam out again. Let's go. Anything to hear more of this music? Alright, sub level 4 time. Beep, beep. Where are we now, hmm? Oh? You are Mario, are you not? It, it is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am TEC. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I am S sorry. Most of my data was er erased and my main power and unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory, trying to stay operational. M. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus, heading to the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow? But backup power failing. Mario used the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. Oh! What? What will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. 
I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. Okay! We will, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on some level 2. Now. Mario, save her. Okay! The Mario salute. Mario, we must save the princess. For that Tech fellow as well as ourselves. It is very tragic. Man, I, I knew the lighting in here was amazing in the original, but now it's even more amazing. There's also sad music, too. Alright. Well, so level 2 then. Wow, they really set the mood here with the sad music. Let's use a teleporter and sell level 2 to head back to Rogueport. I can't remember where it is. Oh, here it is. Let me save first. Here we go. Ooh. Fancy. Damn, look at that. That's an amazing detail. Each. Goodbye. Crockety, I say, old boy. Did you hear something a moment ago? Hmm. Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back from the moon, did you? Uh -huh. Yes. What? Talking to my good ear. The extra fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. So, Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Hmm. Assuredly. The ex not boss took her and made for the thousand yard door. Ha uh ha! -huh. Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through to the other side of the door with Princess Peach. Oh! Pardon? What's what? Dear fellow, you led me to believe the door would open with all seven crystal stars. Believe me, I know I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. She's not wearing any danger badges. Careful, time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Alright, well, there's a few things we have left to do. Ghost tea! Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Your inbox is now haunted by me, the spirit you met on the XX Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can type an email. Well, I actually possessed the train conductor to do it. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Don't worry though, he's doing just fine. I think maybe I'll do my new diary like this. Email is convenient, you know, and leaving a record of my afterlife is cool. In a spiritual sense, I mean. So, good luck with your quest. It's not your time for you to come over to my side. But whatever you do, I'll welcome you. <laughs> Farewell, Ghosty from Cabin 4. We have RDM final issue as well. 
Rogue Port today. In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that Zesty delivered her left hook to the jaw of a ga ga gadabout Flavio late this afternoon. Our investigations reveal that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock before Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon. Two days, or two day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zesty has already been approached by a glitz pit talent scout. D Don Goombadi, I think the kids got spunk. We'll take the world by storm, said Goombadi. Keep your eyes open for big things in Rogueport and elsewhere. As events continue to unfold and surprise, local pride in our humble port town grows stronger than ever. Along with the smell, thank you for reading. This week we have an explosive exclusive on the shop in Far Outpost, North of Mart. It's so cold there that all of the merchandise froze into the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager shows a fascinating variety of goods. As the sweet-faced little miss explained, it's cold out, but I do best to explode inside the shop to warm up. So come on in. Well, I guess that, I guess that confirms that the shopkeeper is a uh, female. This place big too, folks, so we haven't seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourself. So many shops left to cover, so little remaining budget for further reporting. But fear not, this bold journalist plans to research shops in a new way, with my own finances. Thanks for shopping along with me, readers. This is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies, so to make sure we leave you with a smile on your face, our last recipe will be the couple's cake. Just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes and drop a snow bunny in presto. Before your very eyes, the mixture will congal and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. We're putting our forks down for now, but remember, cooking is a window to the heart. May your meals be filling, and your appetites willing. This is it, dear readers, the final issue. We here at the RDM office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. May we meet again, perhaps sooner than you think, wink wink. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. You found us! Special art final issue! RDM hasn't stopped the digital presses yet! Time to uncover some secret corners. Secret news corner. Urgent news just come across our desk about a certain missing quiz show host, Chuck Quizmo. What? We have received insider info that his absence can be blamed on his upcoming show. Hey, who's Fibbin? Sadly, the trouble, produ trouble production has kept them too busy to join us for this adventure. But this reporter wishes him luck. It's sure to be a hit with the premieres. See you next time, Chuck. We'll count on it. Secret cooking corner. If you're seeking truly special dish, try adding an item known as point swap. This will let you flip the intensity of whatever you're cooking up. Take an item with low effort, mix it with point swab, and wowie zowie! You gotta try this. Now, dear readers, you have truly, finally, and honestly reached the ending of our reporting. Thank you so much for reading all the way to the end. Will we ever meet again? As long as newsletter emails remain the dominant form of communi community reporting, there's always a chance. I didn't know there was a secret ending to that. All right, last badge. Yes, thank you, guy. My star piece collection's even bigger now. Maybe we can trade again sometime, yeah? You want to trade star piece for badges? Oh, but I'm all out of badges. I'm so sorry, my guy. I sold out Dazzle's entire stock. Let's get to the thousand year door so we can open and save Princess Peach. It's on sub level three. That's Dazzle. He'll trade you badges for star pieces. Once you collect, you can definitely talk to him. Well, uh, Dazzle's all sold out now. I guess while I'm here, I should go talk to Merle. Mer Merle? Yeah. Because the curse ran out. What the fuck, mate? I mean, I'm surprised the curse lasted that long uh, anyway. Um. Need to go to. I need to go to the thousand year door. Fortune favors who I compel it to, and that's anyone who sits for a spell or two. Are you ready for a taste of my power? That's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? Uh, I mean, just do special path again. I'll watch it again, because I haven't seen it in a while. I haven't seen it like since like chapter 3, I think. I mean, the fact that Murali lasted like 4 chapters, pretty cool. 
Now I just need it for chapter 8, post game, the pit, and maybe the Prince Mush battle. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Is there anything we- th like, the thing is, is that we can't really do a whole lot. There's not really much we can, le like, left to do anyway. I mean, we can check the catalog, I guess. We have 98 out of 134. Magnus 2.0, the biggest upgrade seems to be the flying features. Watch out for the new machine gun. Yeah, I definitely did watch out. Yep, alright, recipes, we have all the recipes. Still missing eight badges. We won't be getting all those until post-game anyway. So I guess we could do a few troubles and then check out the thousand-year door. I upgraded my... well, you know what, I didn't upgrade Miss Mouse either. Let's do that. Final partner upgrade. All right, Miss Mouse, it's time. Do, do they uh, is, is curious? Is is Smooch still gonna be 10 FP? This is the last time I get to see Merlin, so let's pay close attention. Merlin. I don't know how many anybody left to upgrade. Well, that's it, I guess. Hey, does the uh, does the battle master have anything left? It's only seekers of battle. There's nothing new here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I read all of those. Yeah, and frankly, he's not here. Yeah, the pail's still empty. I'm, I'm getting goaded at doing all these tattles. Alright, there's gotta be a few troubles, right? Oh yeah, there is. I can't speak. I want to meet Luigi. Delivery, please. Let's do, uh, let's do... I want to meet Luigi. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain and partially heist for details. Yes. I mean, I have about an hour to do all of these, so hopefully I can do it in time. I might have a little more than an hour, honestly. I might be exaggerating, but... Yeah. And I got 600 moon knee. Alright, you got any new tales? The magical map. The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever, and they thought to make the crystal stars available to one who might need them. So before going before going to their individual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. To prevent an evil force from misusing the map. They placed it in a box that only be opened by the pure of heart. Is that, is that it? Getting a bit more- getting a bit of extra lore. Hey, did you hear there's an incredible treasure hidden somewhere under this town? Yeah, still, I'd be wary of what people tell you about it. I guess I can talk to everybody still. Hey, is it true that Don Pianta no longer heads the Pianta Syndicate? Frankie does? No, I don't remember it, Frankie either. <laughs> yeah, I told you I have to class as a rogue, but I have standards. I only steal from the rich. Who can steal from people who also have cash problems? Mario and Luigi vs. Sephiroth is canon. Let's go. Hey, it's the mustache. Remember me? It's Peter, the unemployed slacker. So I decided to quit thieving, but I still really want to hang out with Ishnail. Hmm, but if I'm not going to be a thief, I have to do something else for him. What should I do, huh? What if I'm just dumb? Heh, <laughs> that was a funny word. Hey you, yeah, Chumpley. Hey, yeah, what's that? You went to the moon? Listen, I like your stories and all, but this is too much. Did you conk your melon? Yeah, so I heard you were trying to save their girl. And here I thought you were just a randomly violent guy full of pent-up anger. 
It takes more than big muscles to be a big man. You gotta have a big heart. Fred, where am I gonna get one of those? Gus's redemption art. Supernova. I don't know, I see a Sonanoka. Sonanoka. <laughs> see what he says this time. Don't tell you this is me or I'll crush you. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's me, Darkly. I like them places, yeah. It'd be great if the whole world would be go as dark as the middle of the night. Hmm, foreshadowing. Oh yeah, Linguini's gonna be here again. Pretty sure, anyway. <laughs> hey, you don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, easy work, mind-blowing pay. It'd be great if I could get paid a lot to sleep. Yeah, that's the job for me. You don't look like you know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? There are ruins beneath us, and you can go down there and find these pipes that... Huh? You already knew that. Fine, Mr. Billy, and I'll have a better tip next time. If there is a next time. We'll see if any of the guys at the port have anything new to say. You came back from that island alive, mate. You're blooming freaking nature. Yeah, master. You're too tame at high seas. You're more man than I am. If it weren't for you, those guys would never return. Thanks, pal. I just want to get on a boat and sail off someplace far, far away. I'm a sailor, after all. That's that's our thing. I'd rather learn nothing. He's off somewhere else now. Doesn't he care about me? I suppose if he wants to go, it's not my place to stop him, but he's pretty, that's pretty weak. What? You went to the dang moon? Why should I believe you? Did you get the man in the moon's autograph? He met the moon bunny. So there were, oh, there were girls, eh? I don't care what kind of ship you got, I a, I've been paralyzed. But hey, eh, going back on a better ships than you left almost quite the score. Do you have anything new to say, Lumpy? Oh my, how's it going? Did you come, come to read my journal? I see. Well, I'll be here. Say hi anytime. You smell that? Something doesn't smell quite right. No, indeed you don't. I can't really place it. I just got a really bad feeling like something really awful is going to happen soon. Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the end will draw near. What's going on tonight? Is the man in the moon freaking out or what? The starstruck astronomer. The moon bunny crossovers with Mario, yep. I sense a shadow fall across this town, mate. Now may be time for me to release my pent up explosives. I'm thinking. Hey, Scram, don't talk to me. My heart's burning for some long lost love. I've been to Pochley Heights once, only once in my life, you didn't understand. When I was there, I gave a gift to a gorgeous madam who lingered outdoors. I wonder if she treasures that gift, the silver ring I gave her out of purest love. Hello there, Mario. You're doing well, I assume? <laughs> Having my beautiful essence flower and was especially with a financial boom. But do not think I regret our family's adventure. <laughs> Welcome to the yours. Have a seat. It's part of this place where you can escape the city and spend time with the you. Escape from the city. Oh, here's Linguini. Oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Oh, if we don't find her soon, I feel I'll collapse from a lack of sleep, old boy. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. So Linguini is just chilling up here now. Hey, you remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, that last battle was here. You have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but I actually kind of relieved. Relieved if you believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should ask Luigi here. <laughs> That's Luigi's blue or friend Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers. It should be jolly to be fried to a golden crisp, though. Did something good happen? <laughs> Let's see. Adventures. Oh, of course. Me, I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Haystong Tower in the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just astonishing, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Alright, Haystong Tower. 
Well, like I said, it's a really long story and this part's just wild, but here it goes. A song Tara just stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world and I had to go there. Blocking up the bone chilling cows, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Mrs. Eclair won my heart and gave me power. All my companions felt the same way, they were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because... As I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all, the chest of the king himself, appear before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of dark goo chipped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. Lugi needs to stop yapping. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped on his chest and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed the dead center on the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was toe to toe with the king, and I was loving it. Like McDonald's. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I can risk it all on my final blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for the moment. The tension stung me. Shwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower winds. With that sound as my call of the battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then, and then. I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even worse beast came next. A nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Eclair. It was all over. And then I came back to Roadport and had a light lunch. That's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest of Princess Eclair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Ooh. Wanna hear about something else? So there's one more story that unlocks after you beat the game, but we'll have to save that for a later time. Listen, this is who you seek it, but here it is. I'm hanging on this thieves den because I wanted Goomba. What? You want to know what I did that made me come here to hide out? Why? It's not like I stole money from my parents and got kicked out or anything. Yes, it had for 800 coins to the parlor, but next time, I'm definitely winning. I see, you know what? Maybe I'll just quit. He has not got a problem? You're probably just jealous. No one's sleeping around, it's the perfect hideout spot. There's not much natural light, so it's all dark and scary. Who'd want to come here? Here we are, just vibing. It's like I probably go for like one more hour, but I have to make dinner at some, or I have to make lunch at some point. Oh, how refreshing. I don't know why, but I never tire of gazing at the fountain. Maybe I'm just tired. Hey, mom cooked spaghetti yesterday. It was so delicious. And my brother asked if I wanted to play soccer with him. It was so fun. And Dad said we we're all gonna go take a trip together. I'm so happy. Finally, this family's doing something. Everyone's so happy once I finally made some solid travel plans. Imagine that. It's good to take vacations. Yeah, real good. I even got an idea for my novel. It's gonna be the adventures of the guy standing right here, Mario. Yeah. If I ever finish it, I'll let you know. I'm not promising any royalties or anything, though. Fuck you. I know royalties. Yeah, I'm done chapter seven. So later tonight, we're gonna do we're gonna do chapter eight and finish the game. Well, we're gonna finish the main game anyway, because I'm still gonna do post game, obviously. You see, I got out of bed for the first time in a while and went for a walk, dude. I wonder if in the sky, I completely forgot just how blue it can be. No matter how much money I have, I'll never be able to buy that blue blue sky. But she gave me insight on how I can use endless sums of money I have, dude. Playing in theaters like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. And it's fun lately. It's harder for fans like me. 
Oh, I can't believe I have to be with you, Madam Frillery. I loved your performance in the Dunking of Noodle. I've seen it a hundred times. I asked my brother if he wanted to play soccer with me, and he was so happy. I knew it would make him so happy. I would have asked him sooner, you know? But since I didn't, I just have to play with him that much more from now on. <laughs> Dang. In today's happy lucky lottery, I was as far away from first as possible. But I'll win tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be here until tomorrow. Any new things you guys want to say? I think this is exactly the same. Honey Biscuit and me, I mean Francesca and me, will keep the syndicate strong. We ain't gonna let them rubbles move on our dip just cause the boss has changed. We're gonna watch them chumps more than ever before, yo, yeah. Oh, hey, it's you. A new era has begun for the great beyond the syndicate. Let the good times roll. Yeah, there is new music there. Or, well, new, new dialogue, not music. Oh, so hot in here now. What's the post game? Uh, there's a few new troubles that open up. Um, some extra bosses. Um, some troubles open up. You have a train ticket? Whoa, I'm gonna try to save my money too. I know it won't be easy, but one day I'm gonna ride this ex S Express. I promise you that. Of course, even then, I'll never go tired of gazing at this engine. There must have been so many romantic partings on this very spot. It's just deep, man. I love the thought of it. I want a romantic farewell. Oh, wait. First, I have to fall in love. Dang. It's Troubles, Bosses, and The Pit of 100 Trials. The Pit is probably going to be its own episode. And unfortunately, we're close to summer season, which means it's going to be way too hot out. I hate it. Alright, so I think that's all the people I can talk to in town. Anyways. Oh no. Anyway. Uh, I should probably go to the I should probably go to the thousand year door and actually like open actually like open the door. I got to open the door. <laughs> yeah, fuck the heat. The heat sucks. Yeah, because the, the fast travel won't open until I actually go to the TTYD. Or, I go to TTYD. Yeah. There we go. I like the cold better, because at least I won't be sweating up a storm. But then again, you live in fucking Florida, so... Of course it's hot there. What kept you, Mario? Anyway, there's nobody here. As such, I can only conclude they used a special method to pass through the door. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. Okay. Alright, last time we're gonna see this animation. Yeah, that last crystal star does look pretty nice. Ooh! I'm glowing! Oh, and the, f the frame rate is dying too. I love this animation. This animation, this animation is really cool. <laughs> Oh my, look, the door! Damn, look at that!
At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, he must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's go, Mario. Fuck you. Me? I just get in the way. I'll wait here and uh, watch the door. Yes, that's it. It's all up to you, Mario. Stop their foul ambitions and save Princess Peach. Damn, listen to this fucking music. Let's head to the Palace of Shadow. We have to save Princess Peach. This is the site of the famed Thousand Year Door. Do a little fun fact there. Alright, I'm gonna leave then. Bye! That is some epic sounding music though. Ah oh, fuck, my, my phone needs to charge again. Why, man? Why? I'm honestly really glad I didn't play on emulator now because apparently it plays it crashes a bunch on emulator because Zach's having problems. All right, here's the last warp. Well, we can go to World Seven now easily. Pipe to Poshley Heights. T2ID Remake crashes a bunch on Yuzu for some reason. I don't know why. Hello, so you accepted my request for trouble help. I thought maybe it'd be Luigi, oh well, so could you bring him here maybe? Me? I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I just have to meet him and... I want to give him a cake. I have to give him a cake. Okay, bring Luigi here, got it? Okay, hold on. Hey. Oh, I can tell. I can tell you tell I've never met him before. But I can absolutely tell. You're the real Luigi. I know it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, what should I say? Hmm. I'm totally freaking him out. I'm freaking out Luigi. Oh no, what should I do? Oh right, duh, 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 the cake. The wine bagel is a total loss, but Zesty did a great job on this one. Here you go, Mr. Luigi. Please take this. Yes. Hey, bro. Say, why do you dress like me? Hey, who do you think you are? You feel the imposter, please? What? I'm no imposter. I'm Luigi. <laughs> hey, say something, Mario. Hmm. Uh, you, you. How dare you say to Luigi? You liar. You Luigi. You'll never be Luigi, no matter how many green hats you wear. Now stop interrupting our special time. But I'm pretty sure it's me. This is a nightmare, a bad dream. I won't believe it. Wake up, Luigi. Ow. Ugh, no, what have I done? You've seen such a horrible side of me, the worst side. No. Th don't worry about it. Okay, thanks, Luigi. You're so sweet. And thanks for coming today. I'll always treasure these moments, always. So please, come see me again, okay? Oh wow, you came again. Luigi remembers me, Luigi remembers me. Okay, now what if I take off? What if I take, what if I put it back on? Ooh. He'll ask if I get tired of all, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Luigi's crying, bro. This game fucking hates him. These troubles, these troubles, uh... These troubles aren't that bad. I kind of forgot a lot, a lot of these, to be honest, though. <laughs> Mario, you gotta stop walking into the wall, damn it! Alright, let's do, um... Let's do Gob next. I've lost my voice because of this stupid stuffy cold, ya boomski. I want someone to bring me some honey candy, ya pow. Pray for the throat. Okay, we can do that. Oh, we went next to the snowman, far outpost. Wow. 
And the good thing we have a warp point too, um, our outpost. We need a new trouble where Luigi actually gets something nice for once. I'd, I'd do that. Hey, maybe that's a post-game thing, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what is nice. I bought three of Luigi's books, so how's that for something nice, huh? <laughs> And we're gonna read those in the post game. So that'll be fun. Alright, well, let's go. Let's see where this warp pipe is, because there's no pipe for far outpost in the original. So, let's see. Oh. You know, honestly, this place, this spot makes a lot of sense. You know, let's listen to the original music. Alright, well, I have a honey candy, thankfully. Hmm? Yes! Mm. Mm. I think so too. Mm. Mm. Uh, don't worry about it. Mm. All right, honey candy. Oh, finally, I can speak. Yeah, pow! I had to make slowly so much that I completely lost voice. Yeah, bluey. Thanks, yeah, Kakati. Here's talking about my appreciation. Yeah, boom. Yeah, 30 coins. Yay! Alright, so that's one trouble done. So we got two more troubles, I think. We have we have Mayor Dower. And we have, um, Old Bob, pretty sure. So glad TDYD is getting the appreciation it deserves now, finally, these days. I mean, it's always been appreciated, but now this time for real. Alright, let's do, uh, Mayor Dower. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter rooting slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. Thankfully, this one won't be too bad because we have the fast travel system. Thank fuck, because this one's all this one's really annoying in the original. still really weird that you have to press A on the pipe instead of hold down. Oh, it's nice to hear this song again, too. <laughs> Mario, you accepted my trouble... my trouble request. My, my, now that's something. I hope you deliver the Silver Club newsletter rooting slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it from me? <laughs> it's so you well used as tattered. I was hoping you'd deliver the Silver to the Great Tree Elder. I sure appreciate it. Alright, the Tree Elder then. Yeah, I guess normally you'd have to leave through Twilight Town the normal way. But now we can just hop between pipes, you know? No big deal. Right. More, 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 
Well, hey there, Mario. Are you here to listen to my pontificate for a spell? Yeah. Why, this is a silver club newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this? Twilight Town's mayor sent you? My last youth fountain bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip now needs to go to the Petalberg mayor, but my hernia is acting up. Say now, will you take this to Mayor Petalberg for me? Hmm. <laughs> The mayor of Pelberg has to sign the slip now. I'm counting on you, Mario. So I think it has to go to has to go to the croup, and then it has to go to the guy in um he has to go to the guy in far outpost, I think. And I think it goes back to him. I don't know. Weird. Really weird. Paper Luigi TTYD. Alright, anyways, I'm back. Um, I got some cold air now, so I can play for a little bit longer. It'll be good. Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Huh, the silver running slip? Is that from the puny elder? That old so-and-so? The rise to the super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Since I'm not the last one since I'm the last one to sign this, just needs to go back to the Twilight Town Mayor. <coughs> but I seem to have got a bit of a cold. You take it to the Twilight Town Mayor. Thanks, Murphy. Oh, you don't take it to the guy in Far Outpost. Why do I see I I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's a very weird trouble to have after chapter 7, of all things. You'd think it would be an after chapter 4 thing, but I guess not. Weird, huh? I really wish Paper Luigi was a thing. I really want, the, want there to be a game based on the Marvelous Compass. But you know what? I think we all want that. I think we've all been wanting that for 20 years. Since this game came out, and I've been playing, and I've been playing this game for 18 years, pretty crazy. 18 long years of playing TTYD. Here's to 18 more, huh? <laughs> Hello, Mario. Did you deliver that new set of writing slip or what? <laughs> the mayor Petalberg is cold. Well, tarnations and diddly dang it's. Hey, so this is why you're being kind enough to bring this by on his behalf. Thank you for that. But <laughs> well, before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. 30 coins! <laughs> we silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan. Age what? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh yeah, I can look at the art gallery now for chapter 7, so let's have a look. Here's, um, here's Far Outpost. Looks a little weird. These, like, comparison images, I guess. Sure looks nice, though. Here's the housing. Here's the, um, the control panels and all that. Good shit. The moon! That nice Mario and Goombella silhouettes. These are like different designs for the moon, I'm guessing. I don't know what's up with that one. That one's weird looking. And here's the stage. Yep, pretty cool. Ooh, I love the. I always loved how the X Knot base entrance looks. Looks really nice. The Nibbles room. Got the corridor here. Hex room. Ooh, check this shit out. Some concept art. Look at look at the cute little bit bombs over there. They're not rushing yet though. They have like space station. Hey, look, Mario's wearing a fucking is that fucking Olimar's helmet from Pikmin? 
a cool reference. Yeah, here, these are like more wooden looking houses. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, here we go. We have Dupree. He used to be a brown guy instead of a blue guy. So that sounds racist. Was he supposed to? Is he supposed to be like a mole or something? I don't really know. I thought of that. We got Merle, Merlin, or Lovely. Merlin looks a bit closer to his 64 design, I think. Here's Don Pianta. Wait a minute. Was Don Pianta supposed to be a uh, a mole before he became a Pianta? Well, rip that design. <laughs> I, I kind of like that design. That's cool. There's the Elder. Or I guess, at least the mayor, not really the elder. There's some Miss Mouse designs. She was apparently gonna have a blue mask instead of a red one. It looks like the heart tail was gonna be there early on. Cool. Um, I might listen to the music later. As uh, I don't have the time to listen to music, unfortunately, but we could save that for some other time, really. You know, see, this is like the perfect time to listen to the music anyway. Like, to listen to the classics, you know? But going around town and all that shit. So last, we have one last trouble to do before I end up going for the fur. Well, not for the day, it's just I'm gonna go for now because I gotta go make lunch and then play Danganronpa. Which will be fun, so I ain't complaining. It's just, I kinda wanna play more of this, man. <laughs> this game is way too fun. But hey, I mean, I've almost 100% of the game. Excellent Life Fortress, 100%. These are all 100% now. I have every Shine Sprite and every um, Star Piece in the game. Oh yeah, I never looked at these. Power Lift. Temporarily increases your party's attack and defense. Line the cursor with the good panels and press A. Heart attack. Draw around the enemies as many times as you can. The damage will increase if you encircle an enemy's entire body. Sweet beast. Hold left stick to try and hit hearts and flowers. Tilt the control stick to fire off consecutive shots. Mm, showstopper. I haven't done Showstopper yet. Press the buttons in order as they appear on screen. More successful attempts increase the chance of a devastating blow. Yep. Supernova. Repeatedly tap A. More successful consecutive press increases the slices and damage. Slice through the screen to do massive damage to all enemies. There's our star power. I love that it starts out at yellow and ends at green. That's always really cool. Like, it goes in like a weird rainbow. Still only missing eight badges. Half of those are in the pit. The other ones are in the Palace of Shadow. <laughs> Alright, delivery, please. This is one of the worst ones, this is why I'm saving it for last. I need you to take something in Gerald White. Please come get it with all speed. Meet me in Varsity Heights. Oh yeah, so there, I, there's a few troubles I know that open up after post-game. One of them is the one where you gotta go down to the 50th floor of the pit. Uh, one where you have to give Bub, like, a present. And those are the only two I remember. But there might be more. I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of troubles opening up after post-game anyway. Anyways, the reason why this trouble is really annoying is because it's literally just the general white side quest with extra steps. Which is really annoying. Anyways, let's let's make this a little bit quicker by riding Josh. So Gonzalez, how did you enjoy your cannon ride, hmm? I'd like to go to the moon and look for some investment opportunities. But enough of that, I need you to take this to General White immediately. I think General White is back in fire push now. It's a bit far, but you can handle it. Hm. 
Thankfully, it's not actually as far in the remake. So I am glad that 100%ing this game is way more manageable thanks to the fast travel system. Which, uh, yeah, thank god for that, huh? Like, I can just hop in this pipe, go straight to Far Outpost, and then just be there. Really nice. Jolly good show, as they say. I'm very glad I didn't play, um... I'm very glad I didn't play Mario Kart today, instead just decided to play more of this game. Oh wow, I just realized a cool little detail. The bombs are actually like, you can actually see like, cold air coming out of them. Cannon will not be fired until day we've been away for comes. Where's General White? Snow augmented from the heat of Big Bob going off, good chow. It came back quickly, but for some time it felt like Spring Day was here. I was getting right the surface of the moon, good? Yes, very good. This is just between us, I don't like the exploding. I get all sooty and dirty, yes? I'm too stylish for this. Well, explosives wear short sleeves, Papao. Ditch the sleeves and lip guard, Bablam. Hooray, I have been wanting to shoot that thing off for a very long time, Kabang. But then we blew up and we are all hazy and confused, yes? Like frogs in fog, the crack. Does it snow up on moon, Bablooey? Where did the snow come from anyway, Papao? This thing that makes head feel like going pop ho boom Who the fuck do I have to talk to here? We only use Big Bob Cannon for peaceful purposes, Papa Doom. There's no- there's more to the world than what we see, Bashoom. Truth is always beyond sight. This like spades itself. I had such a nice big explosion thanks to you, Shapao. But I want to go to Moon too, Shakaki. I want to blow up on Moon, Shadoom. Where are you, General White? Huh? General White? He left this morning, Wapao? Yes, he, uh, he said he was going to see Cola Bartenta, Rogueport, or something. Oh, yeah, you go to like different places. Yep, so here we go, the General White quest again. I don't think I've met a single person who actually likes the General White side quest. I don't mind it, I can tolerate it. But, there's no way I'd actually enjoy it. General White? Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. World buddies, he and I. I've known since he was a little snapper that would explode over the very little thing. Then again, I was the kind of guy that would bonk his people for smiling funny. Still, he turned up the fine bob bomb though. He never cared that wanderlust. I'm pretty sure he said it was off to Glitzville next. I got pretty. F I, got I go back pretty far with the guy in that runs the juice shop there too. Let's give him my best. The guy in the juice shop. We will eventually do the Prince Mush fight as well. I don't, don't know when yet. I mean, regardless, I know that the, um... The, the Chapter A is gonna be a long one, so... Yeah. General White, he, pound, he pounded three white chocolate coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, you know that lady in the black dress? I think General White is a thing for her, but that's just my gut talking there. He's not cute after all. Guys come in more for her than for the juice, I think. Hey, just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rock Hog. Oh, now that I think of it, General White said he was going to Far Outpost soon. But first, he had to meet Gold Bob, or not meet him. Something like that. Welcome back, Gonzalez. Everyone's been all, everyone's been all a Twitter waiting for your turn. A Twitter? We've all missed your fably smooths. Yes, yes, I'd smash the waitress. Uh, wait a minute. 
Alright, hello, are you here? Well, he said he was gonna meet with General White, so... Let's see. Consolidus General White was just here about a moment ago. But you had the thing I wanted to give him. What a rotten bit of luck. He said he was headed back to Far Outpost. That General White's a fine bob on, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's impossible to wake him, don't you know? I told him to stay out and awake to get to over the Far Outpost. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, you're damn lucky this game's fast travel is so nice. See, and the trouble is pretty much almost over already. <laughs> One quality of life thing I'd add is if you hold a certain direction, you hop out of the pipe that way. So you can hop out whatever direction of the pipe you want. That will be pretty nice. But, sadly can't do that. General White said he was asleep when he returned, Papa. And he still sleeps, Wakao. Alright, time to wake him up again. I'm gonna take a drink while this is happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, this bomb is just watching me beat him up. Wake up. I'm very sure if you say no, you have to do it all over again. Something like that. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Do you need something? Huh, what? I don't know. Um, I'm gold, Bob. You came all the way that way to bring it to me? Yes. Well, thank you for that. I'll take it off your hands. Ed. Ah, oh, yes, well done, Ed. So you'll go fetch your award, I assume. Say hello to Gold Bob when you see him. Well then, perhaps I'll go check on Big Bob. Many Bobums suffered just so you could get to the moon, Chabloom. I'm getting Chafoom. We like exploding Chadoom. Except one of us. And it did not even hurt any of us. Except one. Well, <laughs> give my regards to that one guy that was painful for. We are back again. Did you find General White? Yes. I see and received it. Good. Thanks, Gonzalez. Here's your reward. 64 coins! Please put the firepower's card to good use, saving the world and whatnot. Gonzalez, I was so impressed. You're pretty cool, mister. Hey, mister. Alright, well that's all the troubles for today. Um... Is there anything I can do before I end the episode? Um, I mean, I guess I could try fighting Prince Mush one more time. <laughs> See how that goes, you know? Maybe I should bring some life shrooms for his fight. That might be nice. Life shrooms could be nice, yeah. 
I got a bit of extra time. I, I'll, I think I'll try and fight him. Again. Because I'm out, I'm out of things to do before the end of the game anyways, so... Let's just get some life shrooms. Two should be fine. Alright. Uh, is there anything that I don't need right now? Well, I don't need these ultra shrooms, that's for sure. I was gonna use the love pudding as a joke. I ended up not doing that either. Mm, I have a point swab. Okay, stop, watch. Some bushy. So I have an extra bushy in storage? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Poison shroom. Snow bunny. Hot sauce. Ink pasta. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad stuff. Okay. And I'll take a fire pop as well. There you go. That might be good. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what partner I want. Because on, on one hand, Goombella is pretty nice. On the other hand, Flurry is also nice. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, let's, 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 um, think of what badges we want. I have two PFD downs, two defend pluses. Oh my god. Power Rush, Power Rush P, last, two last stands, Mega Rush, Flower Saver, Refund, Unsimplifier. I don't want to refund for this fight. So we have three extra badges. I'm going to put on Piercing Blow, and I, maybe Soft Stomp would be good. Sounds like a really... St well, is he, is he, he might be immune to Soft, though. Uh, I don't know. He, he's immune to every status, so that won't even work. So I need something else to put on. Uh, well, let's take off Jumpman for this. And we can put on Lucky Start. Would be good. Or Pretty Lucky. Or Flower Saver. You know what? Flower Saver P. There we go. That should be a good badge. Prince Mush is OP. You see in his fight. His fight is fucking stupid, but it it's also amazing. And I was jamming out to his boss theme all morning, so that's how you know it's good shit. Well, it looks like I'm getting hungry, so you know what? It would be the perfect time to end the stream soon. Have a nice day. 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 Why is he? Stu why is it stupid? Because one of his attacks does like 40 fucking damage, <laughs> and I can't even live with. I only have 10. Well, I'm doing that on purpose, because this is, a, this is supposed to be a challenging run. I mean, I've gone this far with 10 HP, so... I'm gonna do it for the rest of the game. And yes, I never beat the game with... I never did a, I never did complete the 10 HP run. I stopped at Shadow Queen, because Shadow Queen like, gets like three fucking attacks. And Mario just ends up dying, so... Yeah. Alright, let me in. I think my badge setup should be good. And this is my, uh, these are my items. <laughs> Fuck you. I think what we could do is we could try and use the trial stew. Trial stew might not be a bad idea. I have more BP, so let's see. All right, here we go. And I have more. I have more SP, so this might not be that bad. Let's see, what should I do here? 
I guess a power punch would be nice. Actually, good question. Is he immune to shooting stars, too? Okay, he's not immune to shooting stars. Mario gets an extra turn now. Fifteen damage. Okay, let's do another fifteen. There we go, nice thirty flat damage right there. His stance changed. Here's an idea, then. We are going to use a Boo Sheet. Actually, I don't... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Boo Sheet. I have two of them, right? I think we'll be fine. Alright, and then we will use uh, the Point Swap. Now we got a spin jump on him. Boom. It's like 19 damage right there. Alright, he's going Super Saiyan. Ow. That also drains your FP. No, Gumbella, fuck. <laughs> Stupid statuses. The only way to damage him here is you have to, um... Well, first, let's heal up. The only way to hit him is you have to, like... I don't know what you gotta do. I think you just have to... I don't know. None of these items work, for example. Hmm. You know what? Love pudding. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, but here's the problem, right? When he does that, he, he raises up. And then you can't, uh... You can't hit him. And I'm pretty sure he just blocks all damage. Yeah. And I think even star powers don't work. Well, I don't know, but I'm not gonna find out. Let me power lift first. There we go. <laughs> Prince Mush looks girly. Yeah, it's probably just because of his pink, uh, his pink mushroom hat, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, there goes the first life shroom. But he keeps, he keeps going Super Saiyan. Sure, thanks, I guess. Yes. One thing I could do is I could use hold fast. Which you know what might not be a bad idea. Let me try that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's about Valerie's got the counter status now. Plus Valerie's really tanky anyways. Fuck! Well, there's like there was my second life stream.
I double dip. Ooh, I got a great idea. Well, no, because I can't attack him, bro. You pretty much have to super guard him. Yeah, that's the only way to go get through his defenses. What the fuck is he doing? He's duplicating himself now? What the hell? What's this all about? Can I hit him with Earth Tremor? I, I've never- I haven't made it this far yet. <laughs> I think he exclusively targets Mario, too. Alright, let's see. That literally did fucking nothing. Oh, and he goes through the fucking counter stick. He goes through the fucking, um... He goes through fucking counter, dude. So you have, you have to super guard him. There's literally nothing else you can do. Crazy. Okay, well... Um... Not really a whole lot I can do then, jeez. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, so you have to super guard that. You can't- there's nothing you can do. Okay, well... <laughs> Resetting that. He's a big fan of Goku and Badass for no reason. Yeah, he's awesome. I, I love this. He's like, he's probably like my favorite thing about this remake so far. Hey, anyway, to be honest, I don't think the defense defend pluses are gonna matter really. You might want to go full power at this point. Yeah, I might want to go power bounce. Um, power plus P could be good. <laughs> Double pain for shits and giggles. Pretty lucky, lucky start. There's not really a lot I could put on. Like, maybe feeling fine P, I don't know. I'm in tutor. Yeah, that's like about all the badges I have. Like, I guess I could put on like pretty lucky or something. Actually, you know what? Put on close call too. We're gonna go with evasion strats. We're gonna give this one more. He, yeah, he is not in the OG. He's a brand new boss for the remake. This is why I love. This is why I love this fight so much because. It's a brand new fight. We be 20 years later, we got a brand new fight in TTYD. <laughs> and it's fucking amazing. And he even has his own battle music. I'm gonna have- I'm not gonna really have any reason to go back to the original. The only thing I'll go back to the original for... ...is the infinite pit. Like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and maybe the rando? I don't know.
All right, let's try this again. All right, plus four again. See what the power bounce does. Not bad. Like 15 damage. Don't mind me, I just gotta get my stylishes off real quick. Alright, let's see what he does. Well, uh, Boombella's in peril now, I guess. Or, well, she's in danger. That did not really, that was not really worth it, honestly. Yeah. Oh, he, he's already in this phase. Oh my god. Bell is fucking dead. Be time for a sweet feast, honestly. Might I can get the next hit then. I'm gonna be out of uh, I'm gonna be out of everything though after this. Plus four ever for everything. All right, let's do sweet feast now. Just hold left simulator. Well, not if you get poison shrooms, bro. Come on. All right, you know what? That, uh, that'll be fine, I think. Yeah, not bad. I cannot get that super guard. Just have Bobber out because Bobber can tank shit. Um, yeah, there's not really much I can do. I just gotta defend. I just gotta have to. I just have to guard it. I might actually have to take off on Simplifier for this one. Yeah, okay, well, it was worth a try. Okay, well, I'll do that next, I'll probably do that uh, at the start of the next episode, but I want to go make some food now, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching TTYD Remake, 
we'll be back uh, in like, I don't know, four to five hours, and we'll do chapter eight, and maybe beat the Prince Mush fight? I gotta take off on simplifiers, though, because, yeah, it's kind of hard without it, or it's kind of hard with it, you know? It might be doable, I'll just do it, you know, the way the game intended, <laughs> but I'll put it, I'll put on simplifier back on after, so, yeah. Alright, anyways, see you guys.